Hello everyone and thanks for tuning back in. Alessandro the Crypto here. I hope you're doing all fine. So welcome to another episode. Today we're going to analyze again the Bitcoin price and also compare it to the DXY because we had some nice price action yesterday. We had this little dump here towards our main support of $12,700. Currently, we are seeing a nice healthy bounce from it, but I still think that we have still a lot of room left to the downside since here we are not able to push higher. So if we are able to go towards this $13,500 and also push towards our main resistance of $14,000, I think there we're going to face the biggest problems. So currently, I don't think that we are topping out exactly at this point of time. But it looks like that we could be in for a potential correction, especially if we see a last leg up here towards 14k and get rejected there. So let's start in the one hour time frame here, because currently you can see that the 200 moving average slowly is coming up where all the moving average currently are lining up like the 20 and 50 moving average. Also, the RSI is right here at the 50 level. And I think as soon as we're gonna have the 200 moving average coming here close to the other ones, we're gonna see here a big move to the upside or downside. And it's gonna be also depending what the DXY is doing because currently the DXY could be forming here this ascending triangle in the one hour, which could break out to the upside. And in that case, I would target here the main resistance of around $93.60. And that of course could lead into another little correction in the Bitcoin price and also we're gonna have to look how the stock markets in the US are going to open because if they're gonna continue to plunge then I think we could see also Bitcoin following it and in that case my target would be here to reach this $12,150. I was expecting yesterday to reach these levels but we got here supported by this $12,760 which currently is our main support line. And now we can go over into the four hour time frame because currently here you can see that we're trading right along the 20 moving average. And the problem is the more we test this moving average, the weaker it gets. And in that case, I'm expecting at least a correction towards the 50 moving average. Currently it's lining up where our main support is. And if we're gonna fall below, then I'm targeting here the 200 moving average right at 11,400. RSI is also bouncing from the 50 level currently so we should expect a big bounce towards our resistance of $13,500 in the next couple of hours otherwise I'm preparing here for a possible short trade to ride it down at least again towards $12,800 and if it's not gonna hold again then watch out for this $12,150 level or maybe even the 200 moving average down at $11,400 which is also our main support area of the channel that we are in since now many days and weeks. And if we open up the Bollinger Band in the four hour time frame, you can see that currently we're again trading on the bullish side. So currently we have a trading range between $13,000 and $13,300. So we're squeezing again in a very tiny channel and we should in theory break out here to the upside pretty soon. Otherwise I'm expecting here continuation to the downside and potentially a retest of this $12,800 area the good thing is that currently stochastic is now again shifted to the upside and also macd and kst are looking like they're gonna have very soon a bullish cross if we are able to keep up here with this thirteen thousand dollar support so i'm keeping an eye here in the four hour time frame as soon as i'm gonna see a bullish cross in the macd this should fire up the price at least towards our resistance currently of around thirteen thousand five hundred dollar and if we compare it to the DXY, currently you can see that we are also here moving along the 20 moving average, but we're squeezing here between the 20 and 50. So I think we're gonna stay within these two moving averages before we're gonna see a breakout here from this triangle. And most likely we're gonna break out here to the upside. And in that case, also my target would be up here at 93.50, exactly where the 200 moving average is lining up here in the DXY. I don't think that we will gonna break out here to the upside from this pattern that we we are in here since now many days and weeks but of course always when we are coming close to this resistance there is always a high chance that maybe the DXY is able to break out here to the upside and in that case we're gonna see a huge dump in the Bitcoin and also stock market prices and as long as we are pre-election in the US I think everything is possible because there is uncertainty in the market and because of that I think we should be prepared for all scenarios 
and now we can go back to the Bitcoin chart and open up also the daily time frame because currently you can see that the 20 daily moving average is perfectly lining up here at our main support of 12k. This was our previous resistance which now should be turning into new support. So in case of a bigger sell-off here then watch out for this 12k area because this is going to be very important and there is where we're going to potentially have another big bounce to the upside which could potentially take us towards fourteen thousand dollar only if from here we are able to push higher and test this 14k and get rejected here then i think maybe if we correct down to 12k we maybe also see again eleven thousand one hundred dollar because this is also our main support of this channel that we are in here now since many days and weeks and you can see also here my own indicator has a confirmed sell signal here in the spot chart if we go over into the cme chart it's not yet confirmed but also here it looks quite exhausted in my opinion so we could have in theory from here on a little correction at least towards 12 to 11 thousand dollar maybe even lower but therefore we will need also to break this important and strong support that we have within this channel and if we go back into the spot chart you can also see that the rsi is still very exhausted here we are in very overbought condition so correction is at any time possible even though we should expect here for the next couple of days and weeks big continuations here to the upside in the bitcoin price and also if we have a look into the bollinger band you can see that currently we are still trading on the upper area and we didn't even came down to test these two moving averages here between twelve thousand eight hundred dollar down to 12k so we could in theory even drop towards 12k and still remain here on this bullish side of the bollinger band so even if you see 12k and we're gonna see a bounce from it take it as a good buy opportunity dca into bitcoin and also scale in some nice longs because we still have macd and kst shifted to the upside only the stochastic is looking a bit toppy and it's screaming a bit for a correction so it is very likely that we could see 12k within this week before we're gearing up here for another big leg to the upside and uh, the dxy is still here in this main resistance area where also the 50 and 20 daily moving average is lining up so i'm expecting here another big rejection from it and a possible crash towards 91 dollars only if you're really able to push higher here and also break out to the upside my target would be here to reach the 200 daily moving average right at 96 60 and that of course would lead into a short-lived big crash in the stock market and also in the bitcoin price and that could be really the last opportunity to buy really cheap stocks and bitcoin because if we're going to see a breakout here to the upside from the dxy i think this is going to be very short-lived because the dxy is still in a bear market and the trend is definitely to the downside and even though we could see such a breakout to the upside wouldn't change that much and now we can go back to the bitcoin price and open up also the weekly time frame because you can see that currently the moving averages are coming higher and higher towards our main support and in my opinion the worst case scenario for the bitcoin price if we're going to see a huge dump because this red line here acted as a very strong resistance in the last three years and right now it should be a very strong support so if we're going to have a big crash to the downside this is still my worst case scenario here this nine thousand dollar and you can also see that currently the 50 moving average is coming above of this price level and the only last moving average that has to come above this line is here the 200 moving average which is very very important because this is usually the price levels where bitcoin always bottoms out if we're gonna see something crazy happen like a big crash or something like that also in the stock market and that's why the more we are trading here above all these moving averages and bringing also the 200 weekly moving average here higher and higher the higher the price will also be in case of a bigger crash and currently also you can see that the 20 weekly moving average is still here right at ten thousand eight hundred dollar this is perfectly lining up with our main support and i still think even though we could see maybe one last bigger correction we most likely gonna close weekly candles always above this moving average this is gonna be very key here also for the long term you can see that currently we have a potential bearish divergence also in the RSI so there are some signs that we could see a possible correction here maybe even towards 9k but as I told you my friends I wouldn't take profits at these stages in the opposite try 
to catch good dips and try to accumulate as much bitcoins as you can with every dip don't try to take profits right now because for the long term most likely you will lose a lot of money so definitely try to catch such dips like we always had also during run-ups and now we can also have a look into the Bollinger Band in the weekly because here currently we are still fighting here with the top of the Bollinger Band right here at $13,300. So even if we would see a correction down towards these two moving averages here between $11,400 and $10,800, we will still remain here shifted to the upside. So currently, my friends, I'm not in a trade. I have some positions opened here, for example, on the co-vesting feature on Prime XPT. If you want to try it out for me, currently it is working perfectly. You can also open up an account with my link that you find down below here in the video description for Prime XPT and try out this co-vesting thing where you basically just can follow other traders. And me personally, I'm following this number one trader since like a month or so. And so far, I'm doing pretty well well next to my own trading of course because there is still this femex competition going on so i'm trading right now a bit there but just some small scalp tradings because currently if i would open up some trades it would be probably some short positions and i don't like to short bitcoin i prefer to long bitcoin and that's why i still have to wait for good entries so if you don't want to short bitcoin up here in these levels where we could start to skyrocket pretty fast if this resistance is broken then wait maybe for a possible pullback if it's gonna happen or in case that we're gonna break out here to the upside for a good long entry and with that said guys i'm gonna wrap it up for now don't forget to subscribe here to the channel and also moon up the likes very much appreciated my friends and also we still have this special bybit bonus going on so if you signed up with my referral link on bybit you can put this voucher code in the rewards hub to get up to 180 dollars completely for free with a deposit of 0.3 Bitcoin. And if you're completely new in the crypto space, then make sure to open up an account on Coinbase or Swissborg with my links that you find down below here, because with my links, you will get some extra money if you put a first deposit on it. So you can buy even more cryptos. And also, we still have some free slots for the Coinbase Earn program. That is the Coinbase platform where you can claim some free altcoins. So definitely go and check it out if you use coinbase so thank you again very much for your support my friends also a big shout out to our great community over on discord have a nice day and we're gonna see us all in the next one bye <laughs>